What is up, legends? Welcome back to another episode on the Stumpscraft SMP, Season 4, Episode 6. Our village is progressing pretty well here on Stumpscraft. So today, we are getting an update, a world tour, here on the Stumpscraft SMP. Okay, so I think we're going to start our tour with what's going on here above our starter base. We built this one in Episode 2. A typical blacksmith which is really cool and has underground base and such but this here is supposed to be a silly build but it's actually kind of cool the only silly thing about it sorry the only annoying thing about it is what's inside so it's pretty cool all fun and dandy but if you take damage anywhere near this area look at these two look at them they're just watching me yeah they know and um, they built this, by the way. These guys built this. You take damage near the area and it sets off the skulk inside. Yeah. Not fun. But, um, besides the fact that it's right above the starter house, it's um, a pretty cool build. So yeah, you can see I'm taking damage and it's setting it off consistently. They've calibrated it so that way when you take damage, it goes off. Now with that, the reasoning for that build is a quest. So on the Eternals, we have the Eternal Trials. And here on Stumpscraft, Sev Speed has brought back the Stumpscraft quest. So we used to have those in Season 1, although it wasn't very active. But um, Sev Speed has brought that back to the server. And that was one of them. Build a silly build and... He has, well, I think it was Waffle's quest and he dragged Sev Speed into it. Either way, one or the other. But that's the story, and that's what that is. And I guess building it right above my house was to get my attention. But either way, kind of was a pretty cool build. So here's something. You got, please do not break tower all. Signed, Sev. He made her tower out of oars. Pretty cool actually, kind of really colourful, very brings a place to life I think, really awesome, great feature. On that note, this is something new to me, don't know about you guys, but a mushroom farm, never thought to make it, didn't even know that she could, but apparently it, the mushroom spreads, then it breaks or whatever, and they, yeah, so it's working pretty well, but that's really cool. Then we've got, I guess this should be in the shopping district, but I guess this is fine for now, it's a pretty common shop, it's the armory, I guess you could say, made by Sev Speed. So you can buy potions, you can buy armor, uh, totems and all that cool stuff, which is pretty cool. I could probably, I don't have wings, so I might just use free camp. But there is a raid farm, which you guys can probably tell, which is really awesome. So we've got a raid farm to the right a bit more, there is a creeper farm. And then we've got that awesome other old school mob farm, which you guys saw a few episodes ago. With all that, I don't think there's much else to update you guys on that way. Actually, there is. There's one thing. We'll probably we'll probably work away from this way across because we have to go through the portals anyhow. This is where all of the progress is. Um. Continuing on, where the village will expand and the shopping district will go on. This is something that you guys might want to see as well, as well as my partner's island. I have shown you this in previous episodes, but some of you may have missed it. Uh, my fiance started to play Minecraft with us on Stumpscraft, and she has got her own island. It's very new to Minecraft sort of thing, like very, very new, learning how everything works, literally, from farming to pets and building houses. This is a first for everything and she's doing really well at that. So I kind of want to show you that in a moment. It even has sniffers. Like we don't have sniffers yet. But I'll give you an update on that in a, in a short moment if you guys want to hear the story. Sometimes you guys like stories. So with that we're at the fishing dock. This is where we kind of ref take refuge and hang out when my partner's on. And she kind of, if she's fishing then I'll hang out over here and fish with her. And we can just chill and hang out and spend time together. If we're not out exploring or mining or looking for sniffers but um yeah she's making 
solid progress and the fishing dock is coming along nicely. However, it's not really a part of the series, although it can be, if you want it to be. If you guys want to only see updates like we are just now, just come here and show you what I've done. If you want it to be a part of the series, then I can do that. I can record as we build it and include that, but that's going to be up to you guys. If you do a little fishing, you can keep the stuff. I don't need it. Oh, yo. I don't know if this was from Sev Speed or my partner, but that's, yeah, that's a lot of fishing. Maybe it was my partner. Not too sure, but um, it could have been Sev Speed or someone else. So that's pretty cool. But with that, we'll show you the rest of this fishing dock. We do have a pen, although we have no pets, no horse, no snipper. Not yet. We will get one though. And then we're coming up to our lava farm more storage this will need more work but we'll get to that later like i said if you guys want to see that and have it in part of the series i can do so moving on to my partner's island i kind of want to show you this she's done really well for someone who's new to minecraft um learning how to build this is a pretty fantastic start no one's helped her she's built everything here on her own Acquired all the materials, everything on her own, and put it all together. So for someone new to Minecraft, she's learning about farming, pets, mining, all that kind of stuff. Smelting food and all that interesting things. I mean, she does need a door, but she does have a small island, so she's pretty safe. And she's lit it up pretty well. So with all that, she's making pretty decent progress. Her starter house is, well... For her first house, I think it's better than most of ours. I can definitely say that for sure. Your house, my house, the very first house we ever built on Minecraft, our very first base, did not look anything like this. I can guarantee you that. So, Mrs. Stumps, you have done really well. I'm really proud of you, and I think your progress is really cool. Maybe some of the viewers can take uh, some inspiration from your starter home and take it into their own worlds. Another reason why I like to give you guys updates and tools on the world so we can appreciate the players and their progress but inspire you to maybe do something in your own worlds. That's what this whole thing is about. Yeah, I do have the mobs turned off because between the sniffer, the cats and the horses, it gets a bit loud over here. But uh, yeah, she's doing really well. Moving on to the dirt mansion. So in season three, Sev Speed built a dirt house and we kind of made a base out of it and whatnot towards the end of the series. If you guys saw that, if not, then feel free to go back and check out that whole season or just the last episode, choice is yours. You know me, got to promote that content. It's Stumps MC. But with that, got a dirt mansion built by Sev. Pretty cool, actually, not going to lie. I like how he's got two levels. He's used the moss blocks as a roof. So it kind of gives me... You know, it's got the same contrast as this over here. You've got a brown house, green roof, same deal. But it looks really cool. Now, there's no furniture or anything inside. But I know Sev, he'll turn this into a base for sure, even if he doesn't use it. He is a grinder, but this is great, man. This is awesome. Really, really cool. You guys got any feedback or any thoughts on this dirt mansion? Let me know. Let Sev know in the comments because he'll be he'll see that for sure. And then we also have, I'm thinking maybe we could put a, a crystal there. That's a nice tower. Put a crystal on top to top off the mansion, just like you did, or even in the center here, somewhere. Just like you did in the last season with the dirt house. Really, really cool. Behind that will just be the shopping district. So we've got, well, there's a few stores here starting. Not too sure what that one is at the moment. I think that one was just a rocket shop. And then myself and the other players, as we want to build more shops, we'll probably pop them in behind here. Although it's going to need some terraforming because the whole area is gone. Pretty, well not gone, just naturally destroyed and messy. We'll fix that later. Over that way, towards the house in the corner is Super Luigi's house, which we have already shown you. It just didn't have a roof on it at the time or the cherry trees around it. But he's been making pretty good progress. Every player on the server is making decent progress. And I apologize to some that I won't be able to get to all the bases. 
Some bases are in the ne in the nether. No, the end in the out in the void, like Leon's. Won't be able to get to his. There are some mega bases I'll be able to, I will be missing. There's a fair few players on this server. We always we never really had more than ten, but the list on this server we've got like twenty players so far. Although they don't all play consistently, most of them do, and their progress is again outstanding and really up there. I'm literally behind everyone. Even Mrs. Stumps has more than I do. That's you remember that stadium I showed you guys a few episodes ago, where I was like I am the king. However, all that kind of stuff, and everyone knew before me and do what I say as a joke. Or well, if you saw that episode, then you may recall. Well, Super Luigi has come along and updated the whole thing. So it's like a really, it's, I'm going to say beautiful and pretty because it is really, really nice. Turn the stadium into like a, this looks like a wedding event, if you will. And that's what they said to me. They're like, this is where you and Mrs. Stumps can get married. And I was like, what? Like, we're in Minecraft. Anyhow, um, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Um, Super Luigi, man. Well done. That's all I want to say to you. I almost forgot, but I, luckily I didn't. So what we're at now is the Stumpscraft quest that I was talking about a short moment ago. Here is something that Sev Speed made. And again, it's like the trials on the Eternals, except it's a quest. So you press the button, you get a piece of paper, that's your quest, and then you can rename it and throw it back into the hoppers. Uh, please rename your task to something else and throw it in the fountain. There you go. So pretty much exactly the same as on the Eternals. On the Eternals, we have the Eternal Trials. Keeps things going, keeps content coming out as well, keeps the interaction with the players, and keeps things interesting. So that's the same deal here on Stumpcraft. However, nobody else makes content, unfortunately. Would be cool though, because I'd love to watch it. But um. We can still use that for play interaction, keeps things fun and interesting like that silly build we first saw. Yeah, build something silly, that was a quest. And then I hop online and, well, here we are. It was also kind of playing a part in the progress of the world. Uh, coming on to the farm, we do have the melon and pumpkin farm. I have completed it and added more behind it. However, it's all become useless now because you see that raid farm or well, there's sorted chests and the raid farm get a lot of emeralds from that. So all the players are getting pretty stacked with totems and emeralds and everything like that. And here's the totems. Here's the totem. Oh, oh, wow. Oh my. All right. Well, we're good for totems. Also, if you need this, I got a lot. Whoa. Brother, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Wow. Thank you yeah. kindly. That's really, really nice. Yeah, these farms are no longer in use. But anyhow, we can still use them if we need that extra income. I think we can now move on to the nether hub. Now, this portal here takes us to the nether roof. If you guys saw a couple episodes ago, we, had, we went there to go to the gold farm. And it is pretty good, but I guess that was a bit more efficient due to more levels. But um, on that note, Nether Hub has been made. Let's go outside first to show you. This is the Nether Hub. A little bit uh, what's over there? Oh, that's a, a Hogland farm. Don't know what that is. Some kind of other farm. Don't know, but we'll find out in the future. So guys, stay tuned for that. And then what's over here? My game is lagging out, I apologize. The game is lagging out really bad. It's probably because of the rendering. Oh yeah, that's the frog light farm. Yep. Then the gold farm, you guys know about that. Damn. Really lagging. Let me just uh Yeah, there we go. Everything's running smoother now. We're rendering too much. That's what it was. My bad guys. But yeah, gold farm. And then nether hub. Which is well. Again, a little bit hard to navigate, but got spawn portal, which is the one we just come through. The sev speeds and portal. This goes to sev speed base. So let's go and check that out. This is a very nice base that you have here. 
Thank you, thank you. Oh, there is no way you just took them out of my chest. No, these are mine. I'm just giving them to you. Uh, it's a gift. I'm just giving yeah, you a gift. He, I'm gonna fisk you. With a fish. <laughs> yeah, you, you, can, you can keep that. I will, thanks. Fish. I've got, there are so many more at your base. But dude, honestly, really, really cool base. So I just organized everything. Just gonna go back through and uh, get another look at this, because this is awesome. The wheats, carrots, netherwort, bamboo, and that's just one little section of it. Then it comes down to a bedroom with a really cool theme. This is amazing. All of this is at the end portal, by the way. What is that potion station? I'm pretty sure these make the potions. They do, yeah. And pop them into the chest. That's so cool. Really, really cool. And then we've got more down this way. So this is a, a storage, which is awesome. I want to check this out. Oh boy. He has more diamonds than I do on the Eternals. And I have a lot of diamonds on the Eternals. I'm here, I'm pretty broke. I don't have anything, but we are chilling out, taking it slow. This guy has everything and stacks of it. Ooh, we need some of that. So we're going to have to grab some of that later, but not from here. We'll go get it ourselves what's this this must be the overflow or junk yeah nice just crazy but yeah guys really really cool base just wanted to uh take you guys through and give you a look at this maybe it might inspire some of you to uh i don't know implement them in your, into your own base or something along those lines <laughs> coming down to the portal really really cool and we've got a uh pretty cool design going on here set the speeds base really really cool like i said now there is a lot more in the nether hub to see so they all lead to different places and again hard to navigate but we'll figure it out that goes to the string farm don't need that well there's a hole there That goes to the Piglin farm, which we just saw, the gold farm. Super Luigi's base, which is back at spawn. We've got the shopping district. Awesome. Waffles base. This is something that I want to show you guys. Waffle and I think it was Waffle and Sev built the nether hub together, if I'm correct. But Waffle has wasted no time and he's onto a mega base project like a whole mega base project so let's go into free cam get some outside perspective We've got a bunch going on out here so he's got some farms i'm assuming for his villages keeps them going uh he's got a full storage system over here that's a bin i assume uh, i don't know what that is you guys might know what that is but yeah anyhow he knows what that is because he built it but yeah i'm assuming that's going to be the iron farm Although that is right here. Maybe that was the old one he had. I don't know. I haven't been here enough to see. But now he's got a massive iron farm. Just got to get more zombies, I think he said. Got his organized storage system. I think he's talking to me. Oh, yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Whoops. And uh, yeah, his mega base is coming along really, really nice. Got a lot going on. There's so much to see in this world, guys. So much to see. Hello. Thank you. Got every head, almost every mob head. Almost every little farm going too. Even a dripstone farm. Like this guy's wasting no time. Really, really cool. This whole base is awesome. I'm not too sure what this lava thing is here. But, um... Oh, it's a lava farm. That's what it is. That's really cool. Really cool. But yeah, well... I spend too much time in one spot. We've got to go back through, make sure we didn't miss anything else. Because this nether hub is actually new to me. So, Waffles base. Was that everything else? There's two hallways to the right to turn down. So that one was the shopping district. Okay, and then that one was Super Luigi's base. Yeah, okay. 
radio, so then this one should take us back to spawn. Right, so there isn't too much going on, but there's a few hallways leading to a few different bases, and I mean, that is pretty cool. Really cool. This is probably the best nether hub Thumbscraft has ever had. So I'm going to assume this takes you back to... Yeah, okay, back to this portal. So we're almost covered everything. Well, I think we have covered everything. I like to give you guys the update and tours on the videos. You know, sort of things like this, because you guys can map out the world, see what's going on here, and uh, keep track of everything, like I said in the beginning. Hello there, creeper. Of course you blew up. Such a beautiful world, though. Progress is moving along. Our spawn is... Well, it's building up faster than I can imagine. Every time I log on, there's always something new to see. And there's always a new farm added as well. Which is crazy. Just crazy. It is a new beautiful day here on Stumpscraft. And with all that, guys, I think that's all I have to reveal to you today. There are more bases and more mega projects going on, which you guys will get to see in the future if you stay tuned. But on that note, here at spawn, around spawn, the bases is close by and in the nether. Well, we've got to see a little bit of that. You've got to see an update on the world so far. And we're only in episode six. We're going to take this series very, very far. We're going to be as consistent as we can. And we have, well, we have grown into something much bigger than ourselves. And we're not going to stop now. So with all that, I want to say thank you to every single one of you guys for being a part of Stumps MC, supporting me and the dream me and my journey. I started this about a year and a half ago almost, you could say. A year and a couple months. Let's just say a year and a half. And we're almost at 7,000 subscribers. What a mind-blowing achievement and journey so far. Not only that, we're into season four of Stumpscraft, season two of Eternals. We've made a fair amount of videos and we've had fun along the way. I'm still gonna say this. I appreciate you guys more than you know. And there is no Stumps MC without you. So guys, thank you for everything. I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are safe. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.